In this video, I am going to show you how to send mails if you are using Spring Boot version 1.2 onwards. The page that now I have opened on my screen is the release notes of Spring Boot 1.2, which is talking about this new email support functionality. And let me take you to the Spring Boot reference guide. Here, this tells us that if we include this Spring Boot starter mail in our POM file, it will be configuring a Java mail sender. And of course, we need to provide our configuration properties in our, uh, say, application.properties file. And uh, what all properties can we configure? For that, you can refer this mail properties class. And if we go to the class and look at here, we see that in our application.properties, we need to, we can provide these properties like host, port, username, password, and those should be prefixed by spring.mail. Let me exactly show you how to do this. So let me first create a new project. And you know that uh, for creating a new project in Spring Tool Suite, I'm going to use the Spring Star Project Wizard. And let me fill these parameters quickly. Uh, let's have this as a web application. So we have created a starter project and let's verify that it's running properly. Debug as Spring Boot app. Yeah, it is running, no issues. So let me now stop it and let's go ahead and write our code for sending emails. Uh, the first thing would be to Include the dependency in our POM file. Let's do that. Let me do that here. As you saw in the reference manual, this will be the dependency needed for it. And once we do that, when the application will start, it will configure a Java mail sender first. And for that configuration, as I had told you, we now need to give some properties in our application.properties file. And what all properties we need? I'm going to show you sending emails using the Gmail service. But if your email service that you are using will be different, then you might need to configure different properties. However, whatever service you use, you will at least need these three things. One is the host. In our case, because we are going to use Gmail, it is smtp.gmail.com. And then you need to give a username. If you are going to use Gmail, it will be your Gmail ID. And then the password, it will be your Gmail password. Apart from these three, for Gmail, we also need the following properties. The Java mail sender uses a session and these properties are useful for configuring the session. So that's all the configuration needed if you are going to use Gmail. And remember that for this to work, you should not be having two-step authentication activated in your Gmail. That means if you are having two-step authentication activated, then this code is not going to work. So next, let's go ahead and code the actual class for sending emails. And before doing that, I'm going to set this username to my actual username and the password to my actual password, which I am, of course, not going to show to you. And now let's go ahead and create the class for sending email. Let me name this class as SMTP Mail Sender. And in this class, let me write the method which we are going to use for sending emails. And 
that method is going to look like this this is a simple send method we'll be calling this method with a two which will be the email id of the person to whom the email is going to be sent and then we are going to give a subject and then we are going to give a body so in this method we are going to be needing a java mail sender so let's inject the java mail sender that spring boot is going to create for us i have to import autoware and the java mail sender as i told you this is going to inject a java mail sender in this class and for that we need to have this assembly mail sender as a component okay now that java mail sender that is going to be injected by spring boot will be configured by spring boot and uh, it will use the properties that we have given in application properties and using that inside this sand we are first going to create a my message and the code for that is this one and then we are going to use a helper my message helper because that we that will ease our job this my message helper is a helper class and if you want to know more about that you can refer to the spring documentation here uh, let me basically copy the code from somewhere and i'm going to explain that to you in a moment uh, this is the code i use for sending emails and it says that there is an unhandled exception so let's add the throws declaration okay so let's now see what this code is doing as i told you that we are going to use a my message helper and here in this line we are creating the helper and we are providing the suitable parameters in that you can refer to this my message helper documentation for more and then we are setting this subject here and then setting the two here and then we are setting the body of the email here and this true indicates that we are we can provide html tags in the body so that's all here but if you want to uh, use more functionalities like adding attachments and all you can refer to springs documentation and do that all that here and then you can use the send method of this java mail sender to send the message so this completes our code for sending email and uh, let's write some code to check it out and uh, let me create a controller class for checking our email functionality let's name that as a root controller I am going to annotate it with REST controller. And then I am going to uh, inject our SMTP mail sender here so that I can use that to send mails. And then I am going to write a a request handler for sending emails so when we are going to visit this url this mail is going to be sent to escapel20 at gmail.com which is one of my gmail ids and the subject is going to be test mail from spring and the body is going to be hard day so let's now test it out let me run it so it's now working 
let me now go to a browser and visit this send mail url that should be http colon slash slash localhost colon 8080 slash send mail and when i press enter it has started working it is now working and it has now finished working that means the mail is sent and if you now look at my gmail id here you see that that mail has come so that's it this is how i would send emails if i am using spring boot 1.2 onwards uh, one improvement i can do here is that i should be sending emails asynchronously so that the browser will not be stopping and waiting for the mail to be sent and you can find the source code of this project in the downloadable section